first Sunday of July and man, it was fantastic. Clear skies. That's a big difference over the last day or so. We've seen, uh, you know, sky starting to clear. A lot of the clouds have been moving out and right now we have some mid to upper level clouds out across the area, which will make for a nice sunset later on this evening. So make sure you get your phones out tonight. Right now, temperature 93 degrees, heat index 104. So that's what it feels like right now. Southeastly wind at 13 miles per hour. So somewhat of a breeze giving us a little relief in terms of the heat and humidity, but it's really hot right now. Heat index at 104 and that's with the dew point in the mid 70s currently out across Corpus Christi. Satellite and radar, there's a trough of low pressure out to our west, which is igniting and also um, firing off a line of showers and storms out to our west, mainly east of uh, the Big Bend area, pushing through I-10 along the northern mountains of Mexico. Uh, good news, this is not going to make it anywhere near us. This will fall apart and collapse by the time it makes it into the Rio Grande, also into Del Rio, but San Angelo catching in on some good thunderstorms and rain right now. Back here at home, mainly clear, mid to upper level clouds and also the low level clouds working in, but you can actually see a little shower working its way from the southern parts of Highway 77 in the Kings but with high pressure and control, the showers don't last very long and kind of collapse on site. Temperatures low to mid 90s at across the area 97 over in Hebronville. That's the warm spot right now. 96 over in Alice 93 here in town and 90 degrees over in Flower Bluff and it's the mid 70s out there. You can see where it's raining or where the thunderstorms were pushing through earlier and right now that's where it's actually a little bit cooler thanks to rain cooled air. So you can see 93 in San Antonio as well as in here in town, but also 74 in San Angelo. 75 over in Lubbock thanks to the cooler air from the collapsing thunderstorm. So going forward, high pressure is out to our south and also east as it kind of moves out to the northwest over the next couple of days. It's going to keep things quiet, kind of eliminate rain chances. Don't have to worry about rain for at least the next uh, five to six days, but out to our east, an area of low pressure uh, will start to move into the northeastern part of the Gulf, and that's all thanks to this area of high pressure. A very specific weather pattern will start to shape up. It's what we call a call in meteorology, COL, and it's just basically an area of low pressure in between two areas of high pressure. And what that's going to do, it's going to start to steer this disturbed weather as it pushes into the northeastern part of the Gulf. So, so far, uh, the National Hurricane Center in the next five days it has a 50% chance of developing into a either a weak tropical depression or a weak tropical storm. However, it doesn't look like it's going to be much of a threat for us. This is the European model. This specific uh, model run will start to work it into the Gulf of Mexico and then gain some momentum. Remember, as a water source, the Gulf of Mexico, that's fueling the tank for tropical systems. So as it moves westward, it'll start to move northward thanks to area of high pressure out to our west and mainly impact parts of East Texas and mainly the northern Gulf states. So although it might brew into a tropical system. Doesn't look like we have to worry about it, but uh, both eyes will be on the Gulf of Mexico later on next weekend. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s later on tonight, mostly clear uh, tomorrow. A very similar day copy and paste forecast. 94 degrees heat index though will be as high as 108 to 110 later on tomorrow afternoon, and that's pretty much the trend going forward. Here's the seven day forecast 95 on Tuesday, 95 on Wednesday. And look at these things get hotter by next weekend. 96 on Thursday and 98 by next Saturday. All right, keep it here on 3 News. Travis Groom Sports, he's coming up next.